in this module we shall study about the qualitative characteristics of financial information as we understand that different users require financial information for assistance in their economic decisions entities publish financial statements so that users can get their information needs fulfilled the dependence of users economic decision on financial statements is crucial and if the financial information is not accurate or is not true and fair then users may end up making wrong decisions therefore financial statements need to have certain qualitative characteristics in order to be useful to its users in order for the financial statements to be useful to the stakeholders of a business they must embody certain qualitative characteristics after starting this module you shall be able to know about the relevance of financial information know about the qualitative characteristics let us learn about the fundamental qualitative characteristics relevance financial information is regarded as relevant if it is capable of influencing the decisions of users faithful representation this means that financial information must be complete neutral and free from error now let us discuss the enhancing qualitative characteristics as we understand that different users require financial information for assistance in their economic decisions entities publish financial statements so that users can get their information needs fulfilled the dependence of users economic decision on financial statements is crucial and if the financial information is not accurate or is not true and fair then users may end up making wrong decisions therefore financial statements need to have certain qualitative characteristics in order to be useful to its users iasb framework let us now understand the primary qualitative characteristics the primary decision specific qualities that make accounting information useful are relevance and reliability both are critical no matter how reliable if information is not relevant to the decision at hand it is useless conversely relevant information is of little value if it cannot be relied on let's look closer at each of these two characteristics including the components that make those qualities desirable we also consider two secondary qualities comparability and consistency to be useful for decision making accounting information should be relevant and reliable understandability users cannot use such financial information that they cannot understand problems in understanding may arise due to users inabilities or because of the information itself definitely entity cannot do anything about users and it's upon the user to have at basic level of understanding about financial statements also users are not required to be professional accountants that is why where we expect to have complex information then it's neither fault on part of user nor from the side of the entity preparing financial statements however entity can present information in such a manner that it helps in understanding also with proper explanation financial statements can be made more understandable therefore entity is required to take reasonable measures in order to make financial statements easy to understand however it does not mean that complex information which is also of material nature should be excluded from the financial statements on the basis that it is creating problems in overall understandability of financial statements relevance information is considered relevant which adds value to the decision making process by providing the required bits and pieces of past preset and future times through relevant information users can evaluate whether they are moving along the right path that is making correct decisions information 
is also said to be relevant when it is capable of confirming or correcting the existing thought process and information. Many students might think that financial statements always relates to past, financial period that have already passed. Then how come past information can help us in making decisions? Well, to give you a simple example, we all use our experience to decide about something and certainly experience is always what we already know from the past. Same way, past information given in financial statements help us in predicting the financial position and financial performance of the company in upcoming financial periods. So, even past information can be relevant. Reliability Reliability is the extent to which information is verifiable, representationally faithful and neutral. Verifiability implies a consensus among different measures. For example, the historical cost of a piece of land to be reported in the balance sheet of a company is usually highly verifiable. The cost can be traced to an exchange transaction, the purchase of the land. However, the market value of that land is much more difficult to verify. Appraisers could differ in their assessment of market value. The term objectivity often is linked to verifiability. The historical cost of the land is objective, but the land's market value is subjective, influenced by the measurer's past experience and prejudice. A measurement that is subjective to difficult to verify, which makes it more difficult for users to rely on. Representational faithfulness exists when there is agreement between a measure or description and the phenomena it purports to represent. For example, assume that the term inventory in a balance sheet of a retail company is understood by external users to represent items that are intended for sale in the ordinary course of business. If inventory includes, say, machines used to produce inventory, then it lacks representational faithfulness. Representational faithfulness means agreement between a major and a real-world phenomena that the measure is supposed to represent. Reliability assumes the information being relied on is neutral with respect to parties potentially affected. In that regard, neutrality is highly related to the establishment of accounting standards. You learned earlier that changes in accounting standards can lead to adverse economic consequences to certain companies, their investors and creditors and other interest groups. Accounting standards should be established with overall societal goals and specific objectives in mind and should try not to favor particular groups or companies. Accounting standards should not favor any particular groups or companies nor influence behavior in any specific way. The FASB faces a difficult task in balancing neutrality and the consideration of economic consequences. A new accounting standard may favor one group of companies over others, but the FASB must convince the financial community that this was a consequence of a standard and not an objective used to set the standard. Donald Kirk, one of the members of the first group to serve on the FASB, stressed the importance of neutrality in the standard setting process. The qualities of relevance and reliability often clash. For example, a net income forecast provided by the management of a company may possess a high degree of relevance to investors and creditors trying to predict future cash flows. However, a forecast necessarily contains subjectivity in the estimation of future events. Gap presently do not require companies to provide forecast of any financial variables. A trade-off often is required between various degrees of relevance and reliability. Information is reliable when it is dependable and this is possible if it is free from errors, especially material errors, complete, free from bias. Information may be relevant but this alone does not suffice for reliability as well. Information must be reliable as well as relevant in order to be useful for decision making. 
there are many other factors that contribute towards the reliability of the financial information. Comparability Comparability of information refers to its ability to stand useful over time and against the financial information from other sources. Users cannot evaluate different aspects of entities, financial position and financial performance if they are unable to compare the financial information of one period with another or financial information of one entity with another entity's financial information. In order to have comparable information entities prepare these financial statements by following a uniform pattern of presentation which is usually as instructed by the international or local accounting standards and after they adopt a particular style they remain consistent in its application. However, comparability does not require that one stays uniform even if there are other ways to make financial statements even more reliable and relevant. By the above discussion, we can observe one fact that all four principal characteristics are interrelated and high level is achieved in one area at the expense of the other. For example, in order to make financial statements more reliable, entity may include such financial information which is complex. Thus, higher level of reliability is achieved at the expense of understandability. It is the responsibility of the management to have an optimum mix of all four important qualitative characteristics of financial statements. To satisfy the stated objectives, information should possess certain characteristics. The purpose is to outline the desired qualitative characteristics of accounting information. Graphic 1 indicates these qualitative characteristics presented in the form of a hierarchy of their perceived importance. Notice that the main focus as stated in the first concept statement is on decision usefulness, the ability to be useful in decision making. Understandability means that users must understand the information within the context of the decision being made. This is a user specific quality because users will differ in their ability to comprehend any set of information. The first stated financial reporting objective is to provide comprehensible information to those who have a reasonable understanding of business and economic activities and are willing to study the information. To be useful, information must make a difference in the decision process. Timeliness also is an important component of relevance. Information is timely when it is available to users early enough to allow its use in the decision process. The need for timely information requires that companies provide information to external users on a periodic basis. The SEC requires, requires its registrants to submit financial statement information not only on an annual basis but also quarterly for the first three quarters of each fiscal year. Information is timely if it is available to users before a decision is made. Donald Kirk If financial reporting is to be credible, there must be public confidence that the standard setting system is credible, that selection of board members is based on merit and not the influence of special interest and that standards are developed neutrally with the objective of relevant and reliable information not purposeful manipulation. Moving on to the secondary qualitative characteristics. Graphic 1 identifies two secondary qualitative characteristics important to decision usefulness, comparability and consistency. Comparability is the ability to help users see similarities and differences between events and conditions. We already have discussed the importance of the ability of investors and creditors to compare information across companies to make their resource allocation decisions. Closely related to comparability is the notion that consistency of accounting practices over time permits valid comparisons between different periods. The predictive and feedback value of information is enhanced if users can compare the performance of a company over time. A change in one of these policies would require 
disclosure in the financial statements and notes to restore comparability between periods. Accounting information should be comparable across different companies and over different time periods. Let us now recapitulate what we have learned so far. Understandability requires the financial information to be understandable by users with reasonable knowledge of business and economic activities. Relevance requires financial information to be relevant to the decision making needs of the users. Materiality requires accountants and auditors to focus on financial information which is expected to affect the decisions of the users. Faithful representation requires the financial information to be true and fair and free from misstatement. Comparability requires the financial information to be comparable across periods and across companies. Verifiability requires the information to communicate the underlying economics of the company's business. Timeliness requires disclosure of financial information not to be excessively delayed. 